what is Adobe CS6 and what does CS stand for? So CS stands for Creative Suite. Um, and Adobe is the leader of different products um, that basically are used for your needs in multimedia. So whether it's design, whether it's um, photography, music, editing, movies, um, Adobe like basically provides different tools to make your visions come to reality. Um, one of the things, and they also update like every year too. So now we're on six. Um, next, they usually upgrade like every year. One of the ones that I use um, is Creative Suite 6 Design and Web Premium. Um, in that, you basically get Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, um, Dreamweaver, Flash, Fireworks, Bridge, um, Acrobat X, and a couple other like little things that help all of them like run together. Uh, I use this just because my my main tools of choice are Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. And basically what you can do with these tools is not only create a design, but also develop a design as well. So Dreamweaver allows you to, to create like what websites that are live um, so that if you know how to code, it's all, basically a, a all-in-one type of program. Um, they also support different things as well as tablets and as well as like if you, you know, just want to design from your computer. It, it's all around type of tools that basically help you to to make what it is that you're that you're dreaming of. So one of my favorite things that I use is actually um, Adobe Photoshop um, CS6 and it how they changed from CS5 to CS6 is that they went with a darker platform which is supposed to help with you actually being able to see your work a little bit better like with less distractions. Um, Photoshop is a beast and it's one of those things where if you if you really want to learn it the best the best way to do is to just go through the tutorials and there's a lot of tutorials out there um, you can go through tutorials um, for any of Adobe products there's always going to be something whether it's lynda.com or you go on um, Adobe um, like it's itself they have tutorials or, or different forums but um, Adobe you'll find is something that will always be in your pocket, something that you'll always be be using as well as a lot of people will use it as well. So it's one of those files that you can send out um, source files and be able to actually work with them with other designers and other agencies and, and, and vice versa. You can use Photoshop um, and Fireworks to make, uh, to build to build and design websites. Um, a lot of people will more so say that they like Fireworks because it's easier to slice. So developers need um, images sliced so that they can put together their websites. Photoshop you can slice as well. Um, I like Photoshop a little bit better just because I think it's what I like taught myself with. But you can also build a website in Illustrator as well. The difference between Photoshop and Illustrator is that Illustrator is a, is a vector-based program, so you can have an object and you can maximize it to as big as you want and none of its data will get lost. It won't appear blurry. It's not the same with Photoshop. It's very, um, Photoshop is, is not vector-based, so you, you, you have to make sure that you have the right dimensions like going in to whatever you're designing. Um, and then it's also used for like photo editing, in which case Illustrator falls short of that. Um, InDesign is used for publications um, so that if you want to put together a magazine or like a thousand page book it makes it easy to set masters and then just plug the, the photo, um, plug the text and everything in. Mm -hmm.